got you in the cut. Got that. what it is. What's up? Don't mind me. But hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Frenchie, and I am here yet again with another video, honey. The content is coming. I thought I would get behind the camera today and just do a quick little Q&A with you guys. I know I did a get to know me video a few months back or a couple months back, but I'm back now just answering some different questions so you guys can continue to get to know who she is. Okay, yes. Stay tuned, y'all. I appreciate you all so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to your girl's channel. Like, let's go, honey, let's go. First question, what emotion do you experience the most? I would say joy. Recently, y'all, this is recent because your girl used to be, my temper was like, y'all see that? That's how much tolerance I had. I experience joy the most just because even in the midst of whatever I'm going through, whether it's something that's trying to bring me down or something that's trying to get to me, I have learned to look more on the brighter side and that is what keeps me happy most of the time. I mean, I wake up with a sense of joy and I go to sleep with a sense of joy. Like, I'm always finding a reason to be thankful. Question number two. What embarrasses you the most in front of other people? I would say if I'm around someone or a group of people and they publicly point out something about myself, when someone makes a comment about my physical appearance, that's a good way to say it. If you're going to make a comment about it, I would prefer you to tell me personally. For someone to just say it out loud, it's kind of like, it's in a joking matter and I don't like to be the butt of someone's joke. Question number three, what do you love about yourself most? my hair. I went natural my junior year of high school and ever since then like I just fell in love with my hair. All of the different things that I can do with it. My hair I just feel like it's so versatile and I feel like it is my best feature. Question number four, who has influenced you the most? I am going to put her name up here on the screen so you guys can see. I follow her on YouTube, I follow her on Instagram. She just goes by Maya here on YouTube and on Instagram. She is just such a consistent person with her content as well as what she puts out in her content. It is very inspiring and it really does help me you know, keep going and what it is that I am doing. And the fact that she is a God-driven woman, it just motivates me even more. Question number five, what has been your best moment this year thus far? I would say starting my YouTube channel was the best moment for me this year. I've been wanting to start my channel for over 10 years, you guys, and I'm 25 years old. This is something that you wanna do with your life. This is your dream, it's your passion. Go for it. So the fact that I actually did drown out all of those fearful thoughts and start my YouTube channel, it's a big accomplishment for me. Question number six, y'all. What would you like to change about yourself? I would say I want to change my ability to shut down. And what I mean by that is I do try to, you know, keep a joyous spirit as I did mention in one of my previous questions, but I'm not gonna lie, some things do get to me very quickly and that's something that I do not like about myself. I don't like when I get like that, so I would say that that is my biggest challenge. Question number seven. What motivates you to get up every morning? Honestly, you guys, that's my YouTube channel, and I would say even just YouTube as a whole. I'm constantly thinking of ways that I can improve, ways that I can just be consistent. What can I film? What's next? What's next? Content, content. Like, that is something that genuinely keeps me going because it's just something that I'm so passionate about. Question number eight, if you could do anything for the rest of your life, what would that be? You guys already know, it would be to be an influencer, to be a content creator. This is something that I could see myself doing in the long run, I love doing it. I love, you know, sharing myself with others in this aspect and I wanna be able to inspire others as well. Question number nine, if you had the option of adopting a baby fox or a baby koala, which one would you choose? very random question I guess I'm gonna answer it I would get a baby fox just because I think foxes are very cute is it foxes foe fox eyes koalas are just kind of mm -mm. 
they a little boring to me. Next question. If you had to be on a reality TV show, which one would you choose? Real Housewives. Honey, I love the Real Housewives of Atlanta. If you're having some tea, honey, because they do. But I just really love that show. Like, Nene, she's my favorite. I've only really watched um, the Atlanta one. I've never seen the other ones, but Real Housewives would be it. If you could live anywhere in the world for a year, where would it be? I would definitely say Denver, Colorado, hands down. I love that city. The mountains, the scenery is beautiful. It was cold, but I fell in love. Question like, number 12. What was the most memorable toy you played with from when you were little? I don't even remember any of the toys I played with. I don't know if this counts, but this is something that I remember doing, and I would say riding my bike. My dad and I, we both had bikes, and we would get on them and just go for a little bike ride, and it was just something that was so relaxing to me. It was fun. Question number 13, how many bones have you broken? So I have never broken a bone before, like a single bone in my body. I've never had to wear like those thick ass casts, no. The closest I did ever come to breaking a bone was during a summer camp. I was playing on some type of jungle gym thing and they were calling us to come inside. I twisted this arm some kind of way and I fractured it. I've never actually broken anything before. Thank you to the one upstairs. Let me actually knock on some wood so I don't break anything. You can't be too careful, honey. Question number 14, when you were little, what did you want to be? Y'all, I wanted to be a singer. Singing runs in my family. I used to be able to envision myself just going on tour, having these concerts, but now, mm -mm. I also used to wanna be a model and I kind of still wanna be a model, but it's not more so a dream just because, y'all, your girl's tatted. And I know that in certain modeling industries, tattoos are not a thing. I just kind of fell back from focusing so much on modeling. Question number 15, what do you hope to achieve by 50? By 50, I definitely want to be married and have, I would say two kids. I mean, I would say one, but I don't want my child to be an only child, so. I bumped it up to two. I want to have a loving husband, a loving family, and just a beautiful life, you know, overall. Question number 16, what do you fear about getting older? Wrinkles. You guys, I do not want wrinkles. Like, I'm probably gonna be one of those people that tries all these different products or wrinkle creams. Whew. I just don't like wrinkles. Like, I love my youthful skin. And there are some very, very beautiful women and also men who are aging and still looking very much young. What's your secret? Like, tell me. Because if like the first wrinkle I see, I'm probably gonna have a panic attack. <laughs> Question number 17. What is one thing you are deeply proud of in your life? I'm proud of the things that I overcame. I went through a lot of heartbreak when I got old enough to date. <laughs> I got my heart broken quite a few times and I remember my first heartbreak was one of my toughest ones to get over. Since then, you know, a lot of time has gone by and my emotional abilities are definitely a lot stronger than what they used to be. And I would say I am just proud of how I bounced back from everything. And even just recently, I still went through a very traumatizing part of my life and I got out of it because of the grace of God. There is nothing else that is ever going to break me the way that those people tried to break me. Like you can't even get to me, honey, you can't. Question number 18, what were you like in school? I would say I was a nerd in school. I definitely had a little bit of a glow up in my personal opinion. It's difficult for me to describe. I mean, I was just very goofy. I wore those thick glasses. I wore my hair in the exact same way literally every day and that was only because I didn't know what to do with it. But I was more like when you see her, like she looked kind of like, mm. 
And I know that for sure because when I was in high school, middle school, nobody was checking for me. Nobody. But now, them same people who was in high school and whatnot that didn't even notice me is suddenly like, oh my God, how have you been? Like, I ain't never talked to you. I ain't never, you ain't never checked for me. So what you checking for now? Question number 19. Who are your top three real life heroes? God, my mom, and I would say my oldest sister. Question number 20. What do you want more than anything else in life? Peace. And I know, you know, there are material things or things of this world that's just like, I want to be a content creator. I want to have this. I want to have that. But ultimately, within those things that I want in my life, I still want overall peace. Question number 21. When was the last time you completely lost yourself in something? Definitely my last relationship. And I lost myself completely and I kind of just got careless. I tolerated a lot of things that I shouldn't and it got to a point where I was literally in the mirror like, who are you? Sitting here in this unhappy situation, toxic situation, abusive situation, it was just very, it was a dark time for me. Question number 22, how do you relieve stress? Believe it or not, YouTube is actually very relaxing for me and not necessarily me doing YouTube, but me watching others on YouTube, their content is just very relaxing for me because what it does is it helps me visualize the same things that I could be doing when I'm in their position. Another thing that is relaxing for me is I like to take long showers or baths and I'll you know play some music, light a candle, get the whole ambiance right, if you know what I'm saying. I still like to just go for a drive. Going for a drive when I'm stressed really does help me calm down and just regather my thoughts. Another way that I almost forgot and I'm going to tell you guys, pray. Question number 23. If you could change your first name, what would you change it to? And what's crazy is when I was growing up, I used to hate my real name and I always said I was going to change it. I would probably change it to either Jacqueline or Andrea. She doesn't like when I film because all the attention is no longer on her. But I remember when I was growing up in elementary, there was this girl. Her name was Jacqueline and I just thought that was just such a pretty name. And I like the name Andrea as well. I feel like I could be an Andrea. But I think personally, Frenchie is just, it's where it's at. <laughs> Question number 24, have you ever had friends turn into enemies? Girl, yes. I would say definitely in college, my friends flaked on me, but it's okay. If you guys remember in a previous question where I talked about toxicity that I had just went through, I had friends in that moment. And in the beginning, you know, when things first started to get bad, they told me, you know, oh, you shouldn't put up with this, da 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 But it was only for like a little bit. And because, you know, I was blindsided, I continued to stay. And I guess for that reason, they decided to X me out their life, which is fine. It just showed that they weren't really real to begin with. Not necessarily enemies because I don't wish them bad and I hope that they don't wish me bad. If they do, I mean, that's their business, not mine. I don't care. Number 25. What is your favorite memory? I'm reluctant to talk about this, but I'm gonna talk about it. My most favorite memory was definitely my high school prom. From getting my hair done to getting my nails done, putting on my dress. I went to prom with my high school boyfriend. Um, he's married now, but we ain't gonna talk about it. We went to prom with my, at the time, high school best friend and her boyfriend. So we kind of spent our night together during that prom. We danced and I remember the slow dance to this day. I will never get that image of us slow dancing like that out of my head just because I had never done that before and I still haven't done that. So it was just a very memorable moment for me. I was escorted to prom, you know, there and back. I remember people coming up to me and they just were giving me compliments because Literally, like I told you guys in high school, I didn't look my best. So people could see 
like a difference in me so it was just a very memorable night for me if i could do that all over again but with a man who is not married i would definitely do that and overall it was a very fun romantic night and I can't wait to have nights like that when I actually get me a man or whatever and that is all that I have for you guys today just kind of giving you guys more of an in-depth idea of who she really is you know I'm still working on getting comfortable behind the camera there's just some things that this personality gives that y'all ain't ready to see Anyway, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate you all so much. Don't forget to subscribe to your girl's channel. Like, come on. Uh, I love you guys so much, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, babes.